into the market many of you who do this would be uh, learning for a lifetime because hi this video uh, would be about the kpit design thinking process uh, of course uh, there's a small change that we have done in the normal process and uh, you'll find uh, it on your on your screen basically you look at these slides uh, you you find that uh, the design thinking process as well as the trl levels go parallel to each other uh, first empathizing with the the problem to understand the problem then there is a stage which where you will be uh, using the assured framework now uh, i'd uh, tell you more about the assured framework in the next video uh, but this assured framework once you have the data with with this assured framework you would start defining the problem and uh, and start ideating on it now till this stage you are you have you might have crossed around say trl 2 at this point the moment you are at trl 3 and trl 4 you would be uh, going towards simulating your uh, prototype that is the virtual pro prototyping so it, this is a stage where you would be simulating the the uh, idea on computer uh, programs and uh, uh, the output would would optimize the uh, the uh, uh, the uh, you may say the parameters which will allow your uh, idea or your product or your service to be at a optimized level now uh, after the simulation uh, is where you go for prototyping which is a uh, you would be taking inputs from the simulation uh, which you have done uh, and uh, this would be a uh, you may say directions to you what to change in the real prototype and what is required at this stage is where you make the real prototype of course uh, there will be few few teams who get selected to this stage and uh, they would be also funds provided to them uh, to a certain extent for prototyping and then uh, the next stage is where you test the 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 final product so this is this is the whole sequence of of uh, the design thinking process which you will execute and uh, through this process most probably most of you would come out with a with a product or a service which can go into the market many of you who do this would would be it would be a learning for a lifetime because whenever you want to design or you may say you want to bring a product in the market you would actually be using this process again so in both the ways for people who want to become entrepreneurs and people who want to to just study the process this is a very good uh, way of uh, executing whatever you learnt in engineering to a product or a service thank you